Rock Island, Illinois. What an interesting place. Full of history, lots to do. And I'm going to take you into the map to show you everything you need to know about Rock Island, Illinois. We're going to do it right now. Hey there, guys. Alex Keen here. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know what it's like to work, eat, sleep, and play in the Quad Cities, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified every single time we upload a new video. And honestly, guys, we get so many calls, texts, emails from folks like you who are either moving or relocating to the area, and we absolutely love it. So if that's you, give us a call, send us a text. Heck, send the Pony Express if you want to. We're here for you. Like I told you at the beginning, I'm taking it into the map, and here we are. What you're looking at is the entire Quad Cities, and specifically, we're going to be looking at Rock Island. Rock Island sits in Rock Island County. Go figure, right? Well, the map shows that the outside borders of Rock Island are all of this area outlined by this red line. Now, right through here, a lot of people really consider that Milan is showing on the map that it's Rock Island. So hearsay on that piece, but I'm going to be focusing mainly on this main port of Rock Island itself. And we're going to go ahead, get rid of this on the side here, and dive on into downtown Rock Island. Now, downtown Rock Island has a lot going on. Um, what you're looking at in this area is what they call the district. Now, the district has a lot of stuff that happens, all right? I'm going to go ahead and switch to satellite view. The district has a lot of shops. It also has a lot of bars. So the nightlife is what you're into. The district might be the place for you. If we go ahead and jump on in here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can see all of these right along here. This right here and some of these over here are all bars that you can go to, have a few drinks and really enjoy yourself there. And then right in here is a stage where a lot of different events go on. Um, one event that happens right through here is Gumbo Yaya. Um, it's a really cool event to go to. Um, Jamaican, you know, themed, really fun. They got a lot of nice bands going on there, reggae, all that kind of stuff, a lot of Cajun food if you're into that sort of thing. Um, so it's really cool. Um, if you're not into the bars, they do have those types of events. I don't know if they had it the last couple of years because of COVID, but um, they do have it. And I'm sure they're bringing it back. If it wasn't there, I'm sure they're bringing it back. And that's just one example. They have a whole bunch of other events that go on down here. So for entertainment, the district is a really cool place to go because of that. One place in particular, let's see if I can get there, is the Daiquiri Factory. So if you really like daiquiris, go in here because they make some really good ones. In fact, they do so well that they've actually expanded into Davenport as well. So check it out if daiquiris are your thing. Now let's zoom out here, see where it takes me. So yeah, so like I said, this is really the district here. Um, you can see... You know, this is the stage area that I was just talking about, and they have bands and stuff going on there all the time. And this isn't open to any street traffic. It looks like a street, but it's actually not. So it's a fairly safe area to go um, to get out of the way of traffic and all that. Um, just right off the district is the QC Pancake House. I cannot tell you how much I love this place. The QC Pancake House is, you know, a breakfast place for the most part. And they serve some amazing food. As you can see, you know, right here, that's breakfast right there. You know, they get fancy with it. They put flowers on it. I think the flowers are technically edible and eh, not into not into eating flowers. But, you know, some people are. The one thing, if you ever go to the QC Pancake House, make sure to get their cinnamon pancakes. It's not on the menu. At least the last time I was there, it wasn't on the menu yet. It's kind of a, the best well-known secret, if that's a thing, about QC Pancake House is to get the cinnamon pancakes. I mean, just look at these things. They're freaking amazing. So check that out if you're ever downtown, you know, want to go there for breakfast. Um, 
they used to have long, super long lines, but they actually expanded. So it's a little bit better now, but there probably is still going to be a wait unless you get there really early in the morning. Um, but that just goes to show you how good this place is. Check it out if you're looking for that breakfast place, visiting, or you're moving here. So if we go, go ahead and zoom out. One thing I would like to mention, you know, sometimes that wait is pretty long. One thing I like to do if I go down there and have to wait, because they'll text you when um, you're ready to be seated. You can actually walk down to Shrevert Park here. And this is a really cool park to go to. It's right on the river. They got that stage. And what I like about it is the fact that you can actually go up, you know, close to the river, see the river. Can't really see it here, um, just on the street view. But trust me, you can walk right up into the river, see what it's all about. And, you know, you can tell it's it's a nice place to be it's right downtown. See that river view, um, go to the district, all really, really good things um, right there. Um, if we scroll on over here. This is another one of my favorite places to go is the Quad City Botanical Garden, Botanical Center. Um, obviously, the name says it all. It is a botanical center. Lots of beautiful plants there. I think I really like it because I'm really into gardening. So I really like to go in there. You know, you can see like that's just the children's area right there. Inside, you got all the tropical plants. This is something that I really, really enjoy is in around Christmas time, they do a, a light show. I want to say it's like, I don't know, $5. And you get to see all these beautiful lights. I think I actually have some pictures on here that are mine. But I digress. I mean, let's look at this. This is really, really beautiful. And the picture doesn't even do it justice. So, you know, spring, summer, fall, winter, the botanical gardens are a really cool place to go. And it's fairly affordable to get in. And the whole botanical center is, you know, this main area. And then out here is like the children's area um, that you can go out to and see um, in the anytime you go, really. Right across the street from that is Wake Brewing. Um, I've talked about this before in different videos about the brewery industry that is in the Quad Cities. Wake is, you know, just another piece of that. They have really good beer right there. Um, they have a little bit of a patio area out here. So check that out. If you do go to the Botanical Gardens, check that one out. And just around the corner, let's see, where am I at here? Um, it's not, there it is. Um, Bent River Brewing's right around the corner as well. So you can go from Wake to Bent River. Um, this is their where they actually brew the beer. They have a restaurant in Moline, um, restaurant brewery in Moline. But then they have this bigger place here for actually making the quote unquote mass production of the breweries. Um, so check those both of those out. They're really kind of cool. And so that's really the downtown along the riverfront uh, main thing. One thing I didn't mention is the Expo Center. They hold a lot of events there. Um, home and garden show. I think they do like an outdoor show. They do a lot of different things, and most of those shows and events are fairly affordable. I will tell you one thing. When I first moved to the Quad Cities, let me see if I can find it. I had to come to downtown Rock Island to go to my bank. At the time I lived in Moline, I, I use U.S. Bank, and I had to come and find the U.S. Bank here. I want to say, I mean, maybe they changed the name, but I remember it. Yeah, this is it. This used to be a U.S. bank and I had to like traverse these streets and there's a lot of one way streets down here. And I just remember I didn't know where I was going. So, you know, trying to find this place was a little bit overwhelming for me when I first moved here. But it's easy once you understand it. Um, so just something to think about. There is a lot of one way streets. And I guess this is it's another um, shop that I use. I'm a real estate agent, so I use I make signs and all that and I do it locally. Um, Printers Mark is the people that do that for me. So I like them down there. A lot of, a lot of benefits of downtown Rock Island. If we scroll out a little bit. We can look at say, you know, 17th street. If you look um, at 17th street, where am I at here? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. If I drop on in here, you'll see, a lot of these homes are older. 
um, really kind of cool looking houses. Um, it reminds me of like, quote unquote, the gangster days. If you say, you know, 1900s, 1920s, all of that. In fact, it's kind of interesting history that one of the biggest gangsters back in the day was actually in Rock Island. I cannot think of his name right now, but if you're local and you remember who it is I'm talking about, he was very infamous. Um, put it down in the comments below because I cannot think of the name, but he was a, a big time gangster back in the day. Um, really ran the city of Rock Island. It's really kind of a cool history. So I'd check it out. If I remember the name at the end of this video, I will say it. Otherwise, check the comments down below because I can't think of it right now. But yeah, so a lot of these homes, like I said, are older, um, bigger, just really kind of cool architecture right along 17th Street. Um, so, I mean, just look at that thing. Really cool, ornate woodwork on the outside, the whole works. So if you're looking at older homes, um, take a look at, you know, the 17th Street Broadway Historical District. All of those homes are really, really pretty cool. Now, if we go ahead and come on up here, uh, there's Long Longview Park. Um, I know they have a like a greenhouse over here. They got these uh, tennis courts here. Cool park to go to if you're in Rock Island and you want to go to a park. Long Longview Park is a good option. Um, and then down here, we do have the hospital, um, Unity Point. Great hospital system in the Quad Cities. This is one of their main ones. It's here and in Bettendorf. So, you know, one side of the street, one side of the river or the other, you can go to either one of these. Uni Point is really pretty well respected in the area. Um, another big one I want to mention, so you're going to get perspective where I'm at, is uh, Black Hawk State Historical Site or Black Hawk Forest, excuse me. I just read it, what was there. Um, really cool place to go, uh, right in the city. It's a big forested area that you can go to and still be in Rock Island. I mean, just look at these pictures, like where do you find something like that within a city? I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. There's trails all the way through there. It's really, really cool. Um, right on the rock river. So it looks like you can even go in the winter. I've never gone in the winter, but I mean, it looks really pretty regardless. So check that out. Like I said, it's a great resource within Rock Island, um, the city itself. And then if we go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Let's see, where do I want to take you next? Um, you know, we got Target. So a lot of the main stuff here, um, you got Target. Actually, I don't know if that's actually technically Rock Island or if it's Moline. But your big box stores are all around here. You got South Park Mar, which I believe is actually Moline versus Rock Island. But really cool places to go, some shopping to go to. So Rock Island, I mean, you got just about everything. Um, Augustana College right here. Again, this might be, um, no, it's Rock Island. So Augustana College is right in Rock Island. The reason I keep getting confused is I can't see the border and it's, it's right along around here. That's why I'm not 100% sure. But Augustana is a college that is local, um, well-respected college. I know a lot of graduates come out of there um, and do really great things. So if you're coming here for college, maybe take a look at Augustana. Let's see if I can show you a little bit here of what's, what's going on. Yeah, so Augustana College, obviously they got that there. Um, if you can go around the corner here, you can see, you know, more of the campus. But like I said, really well-respected college campus, um, a lot of graduates. So check that out if that's what you're coming here for. So that really tells us a little bit about Rock Island. Took you into the map, showed you a little bit about it. And I really hope you enjoyed the tour. And if you want to learn more about the Quad Cities, check out this video here to help you learn just that little bit more.